Hey everybody, Rare Diamond Too Loyal. Back again with another video today, reacting to another Diamond video. Man adopts terminally ill 10 year old. What happens next is shocking. Let's get into this, guys. So, how much time are you saying that I have left? Hey, he's telling a true story. About 12 months. A year? get a medium coffee with cream and sugar. Would you like some hot cocoa, honey? Wait, I sure could be. <laughs> and don't forget Barry. He's thirsty, too. <laughs> OK, of course. Can we get an extra cup for her, Teddy? Sure. So one medium coffee, two cocos, and extra cream. Good. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. You need to get started on those drinks there, Matt. Oh, yeah. Hey, um. <clears throat> well, can I ask you something? Sure. As long as you can work and talk. Of course. Did you ever feel like your life had no meaning? You know, um, I used to feel like that a lot. Till I became a dad, and my life took on a whole other sense of purpose. There, that's my boy. Aww. Is everything okay? I, um, I just came back from my doctor's appointment. Seems like, uh, my time is going to be limited. My God. I'm so sorry to hear that. If there's anything that I can... I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Hey, let me make these drinks for you. Okay. He don't know what to say. He like, dang, I didn't expect to hear that. She better not be packing up and leaving him. Like, cause that, that'd be messed up. Like, what kind of wife finds out your husband dying and then you decide that you don't wanna see him die or like be around him while he's like in this horrible moment. You know what I'm saying? He let me leave early because uh, after he heard the news. Cause he got bags packed. That was nice of him. Yeah. Why she got bags packed? Natasha, can we talk? She trying to leave him. I know she is, dude. Like, come on now, what? He not even noticing, really. Oh, Notice she got bags packed. I know that we've been going back and forth on whether or not we wanted to have kids for a, a while now. But I think that I know that's, that's what I want now. But you heard what the doctor said. You wouldn't be around. I know, I know. I've seen the birth of my child. I just feel like that would make me a happier man before. Like, oh, why? Just, just knowing that I could leave an impact in this world, you know, in some way, you know, with a, either a little boy or a girl, you know, just leave my legacy behind. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't want to raise a child without a father. It's, it's my only wish. This is the only thing that I want before I go. Matthew. No, I'm... I'm really sorry, but I just can't. You leaving you, man. There's something else I need to talk to you about. My other suitcase is here. Right.
she don't want to be a widowed wife. But I think that's selfish. Like, if you've been with somebody for years and you're married to them for years and you love them, you're going to be by their side when they're at their worst. And knowing that you only have a certain time to live, that, I mean, he he going to be hurting. You got to be there for him. I know she going to be hurting too, but, like, what kind of person would you be if you just leave them when they need you the most? <clears throat> oh, oh, dang. I'm sorry. Oh. That's that's awkward because she didn't even say anything and he just sitting there. She ain't even say excuse me or what. Can I get you um the usual? That'd be great, thanks. Okay. You know what? Is everything okay? You seem off. It's been one heck of a week. Can I talk to you? You know my wife, Natasha, right? She left. No. I said I wanted a kid. And instead of saying yes, she just packed her stuff and she just left. She just gone. Wow. That's so awful. I'm sorry, I can't believe she'd do that to you. It's complicated. It's complicated. Well, hey, you know, I'm sure you'll find someone great. Yeah, I mean, it's just a lot of time. You know, start all over again, and then it's like, that's the one thing that I don't have right now is time. I just wanted to be a dad. There's always adoption. That's what I did. There's this great place nearby. I know you want to be a dad, but like, dang. Adopting a kid, knowing you about to die? Like, then, then now you're thinking, like, who's going to take care of the kid when you die? Um, here. That's their info. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry for, you know, bringing the mood down and everything like that. It's just been a rough couple of days. I just thought my life would be a lot different, you know? Like, I could make a difference. It's just not panning out the way that I envisioned it. Well, as one person, you may not be able to change the world, but that doesn't mean you can't change the world for one person. Can we hurry it up? I have places to be. Sure, one moment. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't come back here. Oh, I work here now. Uh, Kayla, why don't you help this gentleman? Thank you. Matt, can I talk to you for a second? What's going on? Uh, I hate to do this to you, but... He gonna fire him? I have... He gonna fire him? Aw, oh, bro. I have to let you go. Why? Why? This is supposed to be a happy place where people can come and forget about their problems. They don't want to hear about other people's problems. I'm sorry, but I, I have to think about our future here, too. Wow. Well, well, what am I supposed to do? Uh, uh, don't worry. I'll make sure that you get a big severance just to hold you over. Wow. What a way to let somebody go. At least he could have talked to him about it and see if, you know, there's something they could work out or maybe just talk to him about, like, not being so down just trying to like you know think about happy things something like damn matthew hi gina nice, nice to meet you nice to meet you so we reviewed your paperwork and everything looks great but I did notice that she left this blank. I'm assuming you don't have a terminal illness, so if you could check this box right here, we will be um, on. That's not necessarily true. Oh, I'm so sorry. But unfortunately, that means that you can't adopt. 
No, please don't. I, I don't know how much this means to me. That's what I was thinking too. Like, if you told them you only got a certain time to live, they thinking like, what's best for the kid, you know? Quite frankly, it's unfair to the child and it's, it's against our agency policy. I wish there was more I could do. I'm sorry. What about her? Oh, that's Tara. Unfortunately, we just found out that she's sick. The doctors say that she only has another three months. She's going to be going to the hospital soon. Yeah. So they got some in common. And yeah, like that'd be a good, that'd be a good option. Let me adopt her. No, let me adopt her. I can take care of her better than any doctor will. I don't think that it No, is. Gina, you don't understand. I know what she's going through. She can relate to me. Plus, I mean, it's like I have 12 months, she has three. I can be there for her. Gina, do you really want to see a little girl spend the last few months of her life in a hospital? Let me go talk to her. Aww. Thank you. This is it. So, uh, what do you think? It's nice. Well, I'm glad you like it. Uh, so what do you want to do today? We can do whatever you want. Do I have to call you dad? You can call me Matt, dad, pal, whatever. Are you hungry? I can go make you something to eat. Hey. Look, I know what you're going through is really, really hard. And it's super unfair. But I'm in the same boat as you. Now either we can be super sad about it or we can make the best of it. I say we make the best of it. What do you say? Yeah, I have chocolate chip pancakes. You can get whatever you want. Let's go. Okay. You all right? I'm just not really hungry. You can tell she's getting sicker and sicker by the day. Okay, you wanna wanna go lay down?
All right, it's going to be all right, okay? I'm going to take you to the hospital. You're going to be fine. Okay. Does she need to stay overnight? Yeah, you might want to sit down. Oh my God, is she dead? Is she dead? I'm so sorry. Let's get it out of here. I wish it weren't true, but we all knew this was coming. I love that girl. It's feeling my heart. My heart is just being ripped out of my chest for the third time in three months. She knew you loved her, and you were there for her. You, you did a great thing. You know, I thought that if, if I adopted a child, that I would have some purpose. You had purpose. You served a very valuable purpose. Oh, I feel worse. We're going to help you with your grief. Um, thank you, sir. This was hers. She wanted you to have it. Teddy bear. It's gonna be okay. You did good. If you're reading this, it means my time is up. Please, Please don't, don't be, be sad. sad. You see, when the doctor told me everything, the hardest part wasn't finding out I was going to die. The hardest part was being all alone. Aww. I just wanted someone I could talk to. Someone that would love me. But as soon as they... She, she told her that she was going to die. The lady didn't want to adopt her. Found out. They went the other way. Over time, I gave up hope. Until you came along. Thank you for taking me in these past few months. They have meant the world to me. To be loved by someone. That is all I ever wanted. I'm sorry you couldn't have kids on your own, but I'm so happy that you adopted me because you're the best parent any kid could ever ask for. You changed my life. And I'll always be grateful for that. Oh. I love you, Dad. Your daughter, Tara. Well, I want to see what happens to him. Like, dang. As one person, I cannot change the world, but I can change the world for, for one person. That's a good saying. Um, but I wanted to see what happened to him. I wanted to see his uh, wife come back, or his ex-wife come back and see, see that he adopted a child. Like, I just wish it was a little bit more in the story. But thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos, and I'm out.